Good morning. January 19th, Northern Indiana. 34 degrees out. Had a little warm up here recently. It's supposed to get cold uh, next few days. Get down into the teens and look like, you know, that January, February type weather. Get cold here for, for a stretch. So, uh, just office work. Um, you know, finishing up tax type stuff. Uh, um, and then starting to here over the next week or so get our our regular customers, our, our summer solution program, which is uh, May through September, um, April and October are optional, but we have a lot of lake homes that we service. So spiders, uh, ants, uh, wasps, bees, hornets, stinging insects. Um, so we do a regular monthly service for many, many customers, which fits really, really well here for Northern Indiana. A lot of people do a quarterly or a year round. That, those type services work really, really well when you get Southern Indiana, Tennessee Valley area and South. Northern Indiana, I mean, you know, we've got eight months, eight months where you can treat exteriors effectively. And so, um, so yeah, so send those registrations out uh, late January, early February. Um, and then we offer a discount to our customers. And so uh, what that allows is, is we pass on a discount to our customers that allows us to intake some cash then and also purchase product then, because um, we do have some spring shows and sales that go on. So it allows us to get our purchase price and keep our purchase price low um, for our, our products, you know, our main products in particular that we use. So uh, it's it's a win-win. And so that's what, that's what'll be going on the next couple weeks here. Um, uh, wife, baby, us, we're all kind of settled into our new routine now. Um, and, and so kind of getting used to that. Sleep schedules are getting a little better. Um, but I wanted to share a, a, a video today. Um, there'll be three kind of chopped together videos of a roach job we did a few years ago. Um, and this is a German roach treatment where we, we first started using the vacuum. And so uh, we still use the vacuum to this day on, on really, really bad German roach infestations. And, and for those that don't know, German roaches, those are the ones that are going to be associated with your kitchen cabinets, your bathroom cabinets. They'll get in your door jams. Um, and, and they're considered a pantry pest, tag-along pest. So you'll bring them in a lot of times with takeout food, um, groceries, used electronics, uh, those type issues. You know, those, those type, um, I guess, goods. Uh, that you would bring in the home. Um, very rarely will they come from a neighbor's. I have dealt with some cases throughout the years that, uh, but I mean, it's maybe one a year I deal with where I think they're coming from a neighbor's. So uh, these are almost always brought in. They're a tag along pest brought in on something. So watch your takeout, watch the brown bag takeout food. Um, non-discriminatory against whatever food establishment it doesn't matter you know what what type of food um but yeah just wanted to share uh using the vacuum has many many purposes and so it'll help clean up uh on german roach services and treatments help eliminate those and so we're not reliant upon them walking across picking up product then cleaning themselves then dying because that's how most insects die when they ingest or, or interact with with pesticide or products so um Vacuum just eliminates them right away. Uh, these units uh, we serviced for many years um, and they were four plexes. Um, and so oftentimes as is such with uh, when you have uh, multi-housing units, multi-family units, duplexes, triplexes, fourplexes, uh, when one unit gets roaches, they will all get them. Um, and so, you know, they may not all have them right away but uh, in those units, lots of times you're gonna have connected uh, crawl space you know, points, you're gonna have maybe some interconnected plumbing pipes, things like that that will um, go, you, know, you may have one water heater for a duplex, one big water heater. And so those water pipes are gonna go up both sides and, and you know, interconnect those units. And so those German roaches will, travel, uh, will use those to travel and uh, it used to be, when I started in the early 2000s, you used to have to do a little more education and lean on, on property owners and landlords. Uh, anymore, they pretty much know it. They've been told it, you know, forever and ever and ever now. So now they believe you. Uh, if one side of a duplex or a triplex gets them, you got to treat, you got to treat the entire building. Um, and, and that's, that's, it's kind of a twofold approach. 
even if they're not in, say it's a triplex, they're not in the second or third unit. Well, when you treat that first unit, roaches are very adept to noticing that something's been introduced to their environment, such as chemicals, pesticides, even if you're using non-repellents. Um, and so they will sense that and it will kind of push them. And so one of the worst things you can do now for roaches, and we discovered this, again, I started in early 2000s, um, we were bombing or, or fumigating for them back then. But one of the things that I certainly learned anecdotally, and then there's research to back this up, is, is when you fumigate for German roaches, all you do is push them. And so uh, one of the purposes of treating those adjacent units in multifamily homes are if they push to that next unit, at least you've got a residual down, you've got some product down. So when they push to that next unit, at least you have a defense there. So they don't just move to the next unit unabated and then just their population explodes. So um, just wanted to share that, just a vacuum. Um, I don't know, it's a minute and a half, a couple chopped together videos of, of some harborage areas. Uh, one, I know kitchen cabinets above like a fridge area. And then one video was um, where the water heater was in the apartment had a little slider door and above the slider they were just lined up in the slider above that so they like to get in up up out of the way out of the reach uh harborages to just kind of hang out um they really prefer 65 70 degrees or warmer um and they just love darkness they like getting out of the way that's why they they end up in kitchen cabinets underneath sinks behind backsplashes fridges um they really just you know they're built to live and sustain out of the way uh, so if you're seeing them on your kitchen countertop, you know, actively, you know, they'll, they'll flip the light on the roaches scatter. That's true uh, because they really just kind of want to just hang out and, and, and not be bothered. So check these videos out. Have a great day. Doing a German roach service, the first treatment uh, for this account. You can see there's some running in and out of there uh, right above the fridge. Very, very common place there. Um, uh, there's some running down there and we're going to go through and use the vacuum to suck a lot of them up uh, again you know before before we even treat so the vacuum just does a wonderful job for us when it comes to cleaning the unit you know and so we're not leaving hundreds or thousands of insects dead you know they're hiding right under there and we can take the vacuum and just suck all those right up there so um, yeah, utilize the vacuum on our German road services is a perfect example of utilizing the vacuum and just getting rid of the problem before we even use any pesticides. <laughs> utilizing tools rather than just spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying you know and you can eliminate 90 to 95 percent of the problem before you even use chemical uh you know it just makes your job that much more efficient and and we're getting you know our service calls are way way down on reach very very common for german roaches you know you've got a water source warmth uh you know with the pipes and everything if you look right inside see all those roaches look at all those guys sitting up there you know again i'm gonna go through with the vacuum you know there's a female looking at us all those roaches right there you know and this is all roach feces all these black dots kind of look like coffee grounds but again going through with the vacuum and vacuuming all these up before we even spray anything you know, it makes just a tremendous difference when it comes to our roach services and, and why we're, you know, really, we're just fantastic at them, quite frankly.